is how you can get real-time stock data with this tool. Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're gonna be delving deeper into Pandas Data Reader. And today we're gonna to be looking at and digging into the data module inside that. So let's just go ahead and get started. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do, data reader. Well, sometimes I need to say things out loud. Uh, if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do. We do micro videos, one subject at a time. I meant to do this as PDR, so forgive me. So make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell. So Pana's data reader is for <clears throat> financial market data. I didn't say stock data because you can do, uh, well, we'll just get into it. So PDR, and we're going to do dir on... PDR and namely we're gonna kind of just take a peek behind the curtain for a second and it is if I can know my alphabet a data so help help on PDR dot data I can type today I'm sorry everybody all right 250 three so we're not gonna touch on this because next video we're gonna look at how we can get an API key because that's gonna be important but check this out you can get uh, the st. Louis Fed um, some uh, uh, Forex some currencies but what we're gonna look at is we're just gonna touch for a second on the difference between uh, the get the, the get data and let me check my my and the get quotes so before we had just looked at data that was old this is how you can get real-time stock data with this tool so all right uh, real time I forgot to put real time so let's just go ahead and really bring this in import data as data so all right bring this in now so now we don't have to type that big long um, so we got dir data and we were talking about get data dot and if you look there's other areas but we we'd have to delve into that as well uh, get Yahoo get Yahoo data or get data Yahoo and then get quote Yahoo. Get quote Yahoo. There it is. All right. So let's just jump into it. So we're going to use. So before we know that what this does. So this is very similar to what we've seen before. And it's our data dot. Now, if you go to the. Uh, here we go. If we go to the documentation, the the actual they use web. So if you've seen other places and they, I wasn't a big fan of that because then you're like, all right, web, what? I just kept it the same. So I know it's not along with the documentation, but that's what I meant to do. So then we do this. It goes out, grabs, and we have are high low and if you look it goes back it goes back five years if we don't set any dates so now now let's look at this new one that we have right here so we got six columns now you may recognize this so data dot get quote oops copy this been typing so horribly so I'm going to cheat and now aha this is this is live Th this is real time all right now what in the world 71 columns okay because that was six uh, we got uh, 1258 dates that is a lot of dates uh, just almost five years 
Now let's, how do we do that? How do we look and see what the columns are? Anybody remember? Columns. Now we recognize this. So we understand that this is yet another data frame, but also you can pass in more than one. So we're gonna toy around with data a little bit more and really then get the API next video so we can really do some good stuff. And I'm having to fight myself to make sure that I get off of this subject because I, I don't want to drone on, but the, this is some of the main stuff that I do. So that's why I can even stick on this more than anything. So all right, um, just kind of an update. Uh, live streams uh, going on Tuesday, Wednesday, and 30. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, it is a recap of the first, uh, right now it's the first 100 uh, videos inside uh, episodes 1 through 100 and in the playlist episodes 1 through 100. And um, uh, chapter 2 is about to go online uh, behind Patreon. And I um, hope you guys are really getting a kick out of this, have been getting a tremendous amount of feedback uh, of really awesome support. So I just want to tell you guys, thank you for that. Thank you for spending your time here. Thank you for coming here to learn Python. I really enjoy sharing uh, my, uh, my struggles and the things that uh, I learn and use for Python. So as always, guys, please drop a comment down below, like, subscribe, and most important, share with anybody who you know is trying to learn Python and is struggling with that. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.